Hey guys, Max Epic Queen here, and welcome back to some more of our Terra Sorcerer leveling. We're getting to level 65, and we're gonna get there sooner or later. Hopefully sooner, rather than later. Do not be alarmed, and do not fear though, if you did see a little bit of stuttering, it is not you, it is me. I have a lot to talk about today, and a lot of things that I need to do, but first things first, before we do anything, Let's just go ahead and talk to Matt in here because we ended kind of abruptly last episode and I said I would see you in Velika because we have to go meet Samuel. But of course, once I teleport out, there's Matt in right there. And he's got a little quest for us. Spend a moment here. So let's just talk to him real quick, see what he has to say. Take this to Dougal and Velika. Tell him I sent you. Please hurry. Okay, so all we needed to do was pick up Matin's report, and of course, if I would have done that and teleported out and just left it a little bit longer, then maybe it would have been okay. But of course, you know, things happen. We'll get into that a little bit later. So let's see what his report is, his Celestial Hills report. The science ignored the Baelis entirely. Their research is limited to the Cardovec remnants. The Scions took exception to our interference and mounted an attack on the sanctuary Sanctum Mysterium. Thanks to some assistance from our Federation friends, the attack was repulsed. Due to an increase in hostile forces, I'm requesting two squads of vin Venators from Alimenthea. Violence, it seems, is the only answer to the threats we face. Matin, San Sanctum Mysterium. What advice be well? All right, Matin. So I guess that's, uh, that's that's your thing so that's good so let's get into what we're gonna do because we have a lot to do today and a little amount of time well technically we have a good we should have a good hour let me just get my um, login rewards here and we should be good to go um, you can see I got a lot of stuff in my inventory that I will talk about a little bit later um, first things first though we do have a pair of little uh, boots here that are a lot better than what we have on right now so we might as well go ahead and put them on I mean why not we got them here in our inventory uh, we might as well put them on and I'm gonna get rid of these strong box things I know there's a event going on right now with them but I think you can only find something good in the level 65 boxes not in any of the boxes right here and this is what I picked up today from our um, calendar I was doing my daily rewards and I picked it up um, those are for level 65, so they're not nothing we need to worry about right now, but let us go ahead and um, dismantle our old boots real quick, and then we will head back to Lumbertown, which is where we need to go, um, because we're going to fly back to Velika. So we're going to use this safe haven scroll, because it'll take way less time, and obviously um, we'll teleport straight there instead of having to run all the way back, and I could exit off those green quests as well. So I'm going to go ahead and actually move around here and get comfortable because i got to sit in for quite a bit of stuff today we got to get done. Um, let's just go ahead and actually I'm going to be using my mouse. Let's close off these quests here. Um, we don't need them. That was some stuff I did off screen. So if you'll notice we are level 25. Um, I think when we left off we were like level 22 if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure. Um, exactly on what level we left off on, but um, I went into the Bastion of Loke dungeon, which was the um, the first dungeon that we got for our level. We didn't have a quest for it, so we didn't do it on screen, and I told you guys that I would probably go off screen into the Bastion of Loke because I probably needed to get us a little bit more experience, so that's what I did. I went through... Um, I went back to Celestial Hills and I got all of our gathering skills and stuff up. Uh, not all the way, but just up enough to where they're inadequate. We can't gather anymore in this area. We have to go to a higher level area to get more gathering skill. So I went ahead and did that. That's why I have all that stuff in my inventory there, you can see. Um, because I was spending time just going around and getting some essences and picking up some... Um, uh, fibers and then I also went ahead and did my mining. I got everything pretty much up. I got some special items as well. Sometimes you can get some 
special items that you can get pretty good amounts of gold for if you put them on the broker. Um, they're used for crafting and stuff, so I won't be using them. I don't craft. I really don't. So I am going to go ahead and actually not bother with those. Um, but I did the Bastion of Logue, like I said, and I also got some medals as well for doing that from the daily quest. Um, just doing a lot of odd things that we wouldn't need to do on screen to get our level up to where it needs to be because obviously you can see we're going to a level 24 area and we were level like 22 or 23 so we're we were kind of under leveled and I didn't want us to be struggling too much so I decided to go ahead and just get on up and do one dungeon because there will be a dungeons that we do on screen which our next quest actually will be a dungeon um, so once we get to the end of the quest, we will be doing dungeons, and you'll get to see a little bit of what the dungeon is about. Believe me, it is not what you were thinking. Um, if you've never played Terra before, and you're only here for the story, you might want to buckle in because the dungeons are a little bit different than your average looking around and doing questing stuff. But I am actually kind of, I mean, I'm not upset as much as I am just kind of disappointed a little bit in myself because for me out oh, for once I didn't do that again let's just put it over here on megaphone I don't know I'm just scatterbrained today but I'm a little bit disappointed in myself only for the fact that for me this is not the first time that I have come through this area and done all of this stuff with Perigen no it is not and I, I shouldn't even mention it because really it's not even something you can notice. Um, but it's something that I feel like I need to address because, I mean, I had to do all this work again. I feel like I should have to talk about it. So what I'm basically doing is the same thing I just did yesterday. Pretty much. Um, I went through yesterday and I had a good solid hour to do my recording because... I need to stay on the schedule obviously I got back on my schedule yesterday and that way you know schedules are good that way I don't have to worry about um, my you know being a being cut short on time and stuff like that so I had a good solid hour to record yesterday and I got through it I did so much stuff and uh, I finished up the episode and realized I didn't hit that record button so Everything I just said and everything I just did was all for nothing. Literally all for nothing. So I'm doing this over again. I had to replay the whole entire story again. I actually went back, recreated the character. So I don't know, she looks kind of the same to me. Pretty much the same as our other character. I did the best I could, but you know. I had to redo it from the very beginning, so I had to go through Steps on Isle again, and I had to go through the Celestial Hills and all those quests again, just to get to that point that we were at. Luckily, I wasn't like level 55, because that would have been terrible, and I don't actually know what I would have done, but we'll get a little bit into that more in a second. Let's Can just I see what you? Dougal has to say here. I'm Commander Sarah's right-hand man. While he's running the Federation, I make sure the city runs just as smoothly. But I'm sure you've heard of me already. It's rare to see such glowing words written in Matin's hand. You certainly impressed him, Perigen. Deliver this little epsil to Samuel. He's as hard to win over as Matin, but if anything can do it, this report can. Well done, Perigen. This is exa exactly what kind of action we need from our soldiers right now. Of course it is. So now let's talk to mm. Sayre and see what he has to say. We're keeping it quiet, but Paporia is in trouble, and Consul Dugal ordered me to have someone investigate. Head to Papoleon and investigate the source of this disturbance, but take no chances. Whatever the problem, it mustn't spread to Val Arum or other providence providences. Do you understand me? If stopping this threat means burning Papoleon to the ground, then that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. What? Hmm. Well, this is quite a report. I guess you're not the keener I expected. I underestimated you. I promise I won't do that in the future. We need more than just soldiers. We need leaders. Dougal thinks you're ready for a commission. I'm hardly going to argue against it, not after deeds such as these. Come, it's not every day you get to be a hero. 
Okay. All right, we need to get Samuel's reward. He has a reward for us. Wow, that's surprising. So back to what I was saying real quick, because we got a lot we need to do. Um, I literally didn't push the record button and had to replay this all again. So if I'm seeming like I know what I'm doing, it's because I do. I've already did this um, before, and I just freaking messed it up like I always tend to do. Did not met, did not push the record button, so. I made absolutely sure that I pushed that record button this time. That's why the video probably uh, stuttered at the beginning or whatever. It's because I made sure that I definitely, definitely pushed the record button before I even started this video. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it when that happens. You should be proud to work with me. Perigen, what took you so long? Let's start the ceremony. You see, he, he acts like he's all nice and everything, We've but honestly, I don't think he's being probably very nice, telling me to hurry up and stuff when he has a reward for me. It better be a pretty good reward, that's all I gotta say. And exposed a conspiracy that threatened the entire Federation. Yeah. You've gone above and beyond the call of duty. So on behalf of the Federation, I hereby promote you to Centurion. Okay. Go forth, soldier. That's not bad. And bring us victory for Valkia. We got a promotion, so that's good. Promotions are nice. Promotions are nice. That's good. I like it. That works, Samuel. That works. Now as an officer, you should learn how to use glyphs. Glyphs have different powers according to the classes. Glyphs will grant additional power to your skills. Yeah, yeah, we already know about glyphs, Samuel. We don't need your glyphs. We already know about them, so now is when we need to start doing all of the stuff that we need to do before we head on over to Popoleon, which is the next area that we will be heading to. Um, we actually need to do some stuff around here and figure figure out what we need to do. Uh, we need to go to the banker, and we need to go to the merchant, and then we need to spend these metals. We have some boots here, which I don't think are as good as what we have on, so we're just going to get rid of those. We don't need those. And then Samuel gave us something in our parcel. So we can collect that. Lots of nice things. Um, I'm actually going to turn on that EXP boost. That thing there is an EXP boost and it's for an hour. So we have a good solid hour here of play time. So we're definitely going to use it. And this thing is actually a lot better than what we have on now. So we will put on the veteran battle, battle mint. Whatever necklace and then I'm gonna use these metals here to actually get my gloves and my outfit from the uh, Bastion of Loke obviously these are gonna be better than what we have on what we have on now is kind of old it's some of our level 20 gear so we're just gonna get that actually we need to take off our crystals as well and put on our new gear which is way better and then put our crystals on that gear. There we go. Okay, so we'll put our crystals on this one and then we will dismantle our old stuff that we don't need anymore. Obviously it's gonna go pretty easily. Just like that. So here we are in our new outfit. Okay, we're ready to go now so all we need to do is head over, actually we need to head to the broker real quick. So a lot of the stuff that I am actually going to probably do um, like off screen, I just wanted to do a little bit on screen so I could show you guys at least one time what I'm doing. You can see I already have a couple of things here. Um, the scarabs are going to give you a lot more money so I'm definitely going to want those on there and I can't put them on there because I don't have enough gold right now so whatever I can put on there I'm going to put on there and whatever I can't then I'm going to save down here and I will put it on there later once we get a lot more gold because it takes gold to actually put stuff on the broker so it's kind of like you can win some back you can get back some of your gold but right now you have to put out a little bit of gold just so that you can um, get something back so once we get that sold we'll get a lot more for it but I kind of want to just put stuff on here that's going to be a little over um, 10 gold. I don't want to put anything else on that's going to not give me as much as I 
as I need because it would probably just be a waste like two gold for that nah I don't think that would be worth putting on there I mean we could put the fibers on there and I don't know if we can put anything else on the saffron stalk we can put on there I think that I believe is actually for dying um, you dye your you dye your armor and stuff a lot of people buy those instead of doing the what they actually need to do okay so let's see if we can put these beetles on there and these ores as well and then we should be okay we can't put anything else on there right now and we don't need to put any of that other stuff so we'll keep these down here and then until we get some gold back we will um, go ahead and just leave them in our inventory I'm gonna put these in there and then all the stuff that we don't need right now I'm gonna put in there because we don't uh, don't need it so we'll just put that in there and let's go sell the rest because we don't need to have it in our inventory taking up space and then we will head to Pavolion this all right. is the place, huh? so let's sell we don't need this because we are a sorcerer actually I think we might need it yeah we do okay never mind we don't need the bitter one and mm, we don't need that and that one's okay and then we need to sell the rest of the stuff actually I went ahead and sold or I didn't sell this time I kept my um, potions so I didn't have to buy any more because I figured if we were going to use them, then we should probably use them. So let's go ahead and sell this stuff here. And I'm going to put on... I'm going to take a couple of these off. And I'm going to put on these ones that we got here in our inventory. That'll help us out a bit. And I think I might... No, nah, I think I'll worry about selling that stuff later. Keep the Goddess Blessing with us. And let's use our EXP boost, and then we shall be on our way to Popoleon, which is the next area um, we need to go to. I think I'm going to actually buy a scroll instead of fly there, because it'll take way too long to fly there. And we are on a limited amount of time, as I have said multiple times before. Because the reason I have to keep um, cutting short is because I've been recording when I wasn't supposed to. I usually will take any time that I have that's free, and I will record... And however much I can get done in that limited amount of time is what I would do. And that's why I've been having to cut things so short. Is because I will record when I'm not supposed to and then things will happen. And I will either have to leave or I will have to stop recording. Um, and it just, it's not good for me to do that. I just, I kind of got off of my schedule a little bit. I had a schedule and you guys know of it if you watched um, the, the wedlock. You could see my clock and you can see my clock on here I believe. It's 2 o'clock now. I usually will take like from 2 to 3 or 1.50 or something like that. And I will take that time to get a good solid hour of recording in because that's a time when I know that I more than like, likely will not be interrupted. But obviously, not much for if I just do whenever, then I'm going to get interrupted and I should, I should definitely know better. Alright, so we need to talk to Prefect Paka in Papoleon and here he is right here. Don't let our size fool you. We may be smaller than those other races, but we're just as fierce as any of them. You're the Federation agent. Not a moment too soon. The bad news? Trouble everywhere outside of Popoleon. It is, a, is it a disease? Is it a curse? There's talk about vampire blood magic, but no one knows anything. The good news? Not much. Two Baraka scholars have been braving the woods seeking answers, but it's dangerous out there. Find Broha at the camp southwest of here and see what you can do to help. Okay, I'll do what I can, buddy. Of course I will. Just need to make sure I'm going to go the right way. And I'm actually going to gonna get on my horse, actually. Because walking is a little bit slower. You can see down there at the bottom, um, my, um, my moves and stuff. I've actually kind of decided to use my chaining to its finest. Because you can see on the right-hand side that I have limited amount of space on my uh, controller so I have more space on the actual um, on the actual area down there where the skills are I have way more 
um, space. But I can't use that because I don't use the keyboard. I actually use the controller, um, which is why it shows up over there on the corner with all of my skills. But since there's so many skills and not a lot of space on the controller area, I have to kind of dumb it down a little bit <laughs> and I have to use my combos to their advantage. So I took basically my um, moves that aren't attacking and they're kind of like trap moves and stuff, which we did actually learn that, um, that one up there at the top, if I can, this one here, the Mind Blast, I learned that when I was in the Bastion of Loke, um, and it's a new skill. So I believe all these other ones we've already had before, I just kind of used, summed them up, like this one will chain off of the other move that we had. And these will all chain off of each other as well, and lightning strike is not needed because they'll chain off of each other. And I put all of my teleporting stuff right in the front so that I would have it all near me. So it's, it should be a little bit easier for me now. Kind of getting into like a little bit of a groove now with the sorcerer. I wonder what caused this disaster. What were the trivial details that led to the ca catastrophe? Unpleasant thoughts, but better than going mad. Outside ate at last. If nothing else, it's comforting to talk to someone sane. I am Bedroom's assistant, at your service. Nothing much to report yet, although we have concluded that this is a less of a plague or curse than an emanation. Hard to say. What, do, what we do know is that the longer you stay, the deeper it affects, it affects you. It has affected my colleagues, though, uh, and I don't think they realize it yet. Where is Bedroom? Oh, he's having... he's moving our gear out to a new camp northwest of here. We're mapping the strength field of the... Oh, I won't bore you. I am more concerned with all the disturbed constructs near our camp. I've seen them slaughter travelers, but Prefect Paka is holding back his troops. He's convinced we're about to be overrun by farmers. Could you deal with them? Alright, buddy. It's as good as done. I will get it done. So we need to go and take out these disturbed constructs around cap Camp Vigilance. I've kind of, I think I've kind of got it down a little bit more now. I should be able to chain my skills off of each other better, so I should be able to do a little bit better than I have been. You can see that does the frost burn, and that will do the lightning strike. So it's pretty much all just combos and skills that I can use to help me out a little bit more. Which has actually been working pretty well. I've been using a lot of my skills to my advantage. And it's kind of worked out. And I think uh, what I might do is actually get these essences and stuff from this area off screen as well. Um, I've been trying to do that off screen. Just helping me out a little bit to get my, uh, my skills up in the gathering and stuff like that. And there's an avatar weapon shard, so we are getting close. You can see we have uh, four of them. We had four of them already. Um, I got that from the Bastion of Loke. I did not manage to get all of them, so obviously we're going to be doing a little less damage right now until we can um, get our new avatar weapon, which I've been trying to work on getting, um, but I didn't get all the pieces in the Bastion of Loke, so we will get them probably going around through here today. We should get them all. I'm not for sure if we will or not, but we should get them all. And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to worry today about the green quest. Um, I would normally, but I think we're okay on levels, so we might as well just go ahead and continue on. Um, because we have a lot to get through and not a lot of time, so we should just continue on and see what Broha, Bro, Brohu, Broha, I don't know how to say his name. See what he has to say. I'm grateful to you. As soon as I pack up here, I will go back to Papoleon. Perigen, would you check in with Bedroom? He may need assistance. He headed north, so we probably passed through Camp Retribution. Go there and ask Centurion Amelin if he knows of Bedroom's whereabouts. Okay. I guess that for the, Feder for the Federation thing is like, I don't know, something we just say automatically to say goodbye to each other? Uh, I don't, can't figure it out. Um, but we do need to head on down to see Bedroom and try to find whoever we're looking for. I don't forgot his name. Very forgetful. I'm just glad that, that I don't have to do this again. 
the annoying thing about having to redo the whole thing again is that you've already seen it two or three times so seeing it again is just as annoying <laughs> just as annoying so I would like to not have to do it again so if I have to have the very first part of the video stutter a little bit then it's gonna have to because like I've been saying before this is all I got to work with right now and I'm doing the best with what I got and it's just gonna have to be the way that I want it to be because if not then I'm gonna have to redo this several different times and I kind of don't feel like doing that after a while it could be annoying all right let's see what he has to say we're not enough soldiers stationed here glad to have your help more glad if you can get the Federation to send more soldiers what's that you're looking for a veteran uh, he stopped briefly on his way to Camp Redemption to get his equipment from the caravan. Go find him. Our lives may depend on the outcome of his research. I will make haste, my friend. I could have, uh, I could have done that green quest. It would have gave me a little bit more experience, but whatever. I will just make sure that I will get rested EXP when we end the episode off. Um, I didn't do that last time because I didn't want to forget that that Matin had that little quest for us. But if I do turn off my game in a town or a city, then I will definitely get rested XP, which is very helpful. Um, it just basically is a little bit more experience without having to, when you're not playing the game, it'll just give you more experience. So it's easier to level up. So I'll make sure to do that this time around and then we, we should be good. I think after we talk to Bedaram, we should have to go back to see uh, Paka anyway, so it'd be a good good time as any so we can see what he has to say over here I guess I could go ahead and get rid of that quest but we'll worry about that later we're almost to better M. is that who we're looking for yes better M. camp redemption should be right here ah yes there it is hello I'll share what I know I've studied my share of plagues, and there are many things about this one that just don't fit. The caravan is long overdue. Whatever shall I do? Without my instruments, I cannot isolate the source of the trouble. Did Paka actually send the- Wait, what was that? A distress signal? The caravan is in trouble. You must help them. Quickly, I'll teleport you. Okay, that was weird. It looks like, uh, some people are needing some help. Maybe our help, potentially. Uh oh. They're under attack. Never a good thing when you're under attack. Help me. Alright, girl. I mean, I can come help you. Not a problem. Oh, she sent out the distress signal. I get it. Okay. He's gonna teleport us into the site, so let's go ahead and teleport in and go help him out and see what they got to say. And this is gonna be another one of them time trial things, so we're gonna have to spend like five minutes sitting here doing nothing but killing things for five minutes so let's go ahead and hurry up yes we are here to help so let's proceed with the quest and we've got four minutes to go basically i guess we just stand here and kill things oh yeah that's why i wanted to get a level i think in my le my next level i get another skill that is going to be a really really powerful skill and help me out quite a bit but unfortunately we didn't get it yet because I think it's level 26 but it would be nice to have right about now to help out a bit man I really wish we had our avatar weapon actually if I'm being honest because we would be doing way more damage right now if we did but I don't think you're gonna get avatar weapon shards from this thing it's just like a little quest thing so you don't get avatar weapon shards from it at least we have help we have one, two, three. We have four people helping. Yes, four. I can count to four. What is wrong with me? I can clearly see there's four people. Nope, oh, nope, there's five. Okay. Well, I cannot count whatsoever. Ow! Dang, Nabbit, don't do that to me. I hope we actually can get through this quest. We should be able to. It ha it's not taking too much damage. I swear I saw five, though. Like, this guy over here had somebody else. But, I don't know. Could have been mistaken. 
you really clearly need help, buddy. Clearly. And I missed entirely. I actually, when I had to go back and re replay the game, I was like, you know what, I want to see why in the world we had to kill those basilisks in Oblivion Woods for extra um, experience, because I played through, um, I played through on another server with a sorcerer, um, because me and my fiance are wanting to play um, through the game once with some characters that we're planning on leveling up um, before the new class comes out. And I played through with him. We weren't, I don't think we were in a party or anything, I don't remember, but we were doing questing and I got right to level 20 real quick. I don't, I don't know why. And then when I redid this one, I still had to go back through Oblivion Woods and kill those basilisks. I, I really don't understand why we didn't get a, a lot of experience from that. It was kind of weird. But, I don't know, it must be like something that I did differently on there. Maybe I, I did extra and I just didn't notice it or something. I'm not sure. But I had to go back through and do the Basil Basilisk um, quest again. So I was around there in Oblivion Woods or whatever it was called, just killing Basilisk so I can get a little bit extra experience. Like, I was so close. I was like an inch away from leveling up. And I would get my next quest. But, unfortunately, it didn't happen. So I had to go through and redo that all again. Which was kind of annoying. If I do say so myself. <sighs> Are, as well as these quests are annoying. I, I really don't understand why these quests are here. Like, I can understand two minutes, but four minutes where I have to sit here and do this and defend something? Kind of outrageous, in my opinion. But we do have a few seconds left, so let's go ahead and close this off while we're waiting for it to finish up. Because we don't need that anyway. I could do it for the extra experience, but I might just do it off screen. I think I might go around and get the rest of my mining done and my essence gathering and just my regular gathering. Um, get that finished and then go maybe get a little bit of extra experience finishing some green quests or something. Um, I don't know if I'll actually need to do it though because we will be going towards a, uh, a dungeon. So I don't know if it would definitely be needed because dungeons give you way, way more experience. That's why it's way quicker to um, go through dungeons than it actually is to level up with the quest, in my opinion. But we will be doing that with the new class, because I already decided that I wanted to level up um, quick and do a fast level guide with that class, so we'll just be doing dungeons. And our cremental ore was sold by the brokerage, so there we go, we got some gold coming our way. Tell me a tale. Thanks, to, thanks be to Orion, you saved the caravan and my equipment. Now I must take field strength readings, then cross compare against the, our earlier data. Oh, and I'll need fresh chemical residue. Could you gather some chemical samples I need? The field causes physical changes over time, and I must see the blood of them. Blood fiends. <laughs> Return to the teleportal. Oh, I to help. of course. So we need to take blood samples from the local fiends for better rams so he can test them out. So let's just go ahead and do that. Do that, do that. We should be leveling up soon. If I am correct. Oh my gosh, you did not just do that to me. You did not just do that to me. There's some avatar weapon shards. We need two more pieces. Two more relic pieces. And then we should be um, good to go. We should have enough to get our next um, item because you can see we're not doing very much damage right now as it is so we definitely need to do a little bit more damage and that will help us out quite a bit you know the reason that i've actually been staying without uh, oh we got the quest okay we didn't have to worry about it um the reason though that i've kind of been just doing recording whenever i want to besides sticking to an actual schedule was mostly because it was just I didn't I don't want these to end up like um, our other stuff that we've been doing and we've been working on um, if you remember if there are anybody 
if there is anyone here who has already seen our Pokemon Let's Plays and stuff that we've been doing and marking on that I'm taking a break from right now, you will know that back in I think about May, I actually went and um actually went and I recorded a bunch. I think it was around May of last year. I had said that I was, I think that was the year that we actually went on our vacation as well. I had said that I'm going to be taking a break for a while because summer would be, will be coming up and stuff. And I think I want to go ahead and record quite a bit of stuff, which will help me out a bit and give me, um, and give me a little bit more time to have videos ready so that I won't have to worry about videos at all. Uh, I'll continue in a second. Let's just give these to Bedroom real quick. Excellent. I'm almost done entering the new data. Once I add this blood, the analyzer will determine the drift in your samples and compare them. If I'm right, they will be the same. Okay, so he's going to do his thing. But what I was saying was, basically I wanted to have videos so that if something did happen, um, I am covered over the summer, which I needed to be anyway. And if something did happen, I would have extra videos there so that I could have them recorded and I wouldn't have to worry about if I can't record, I got something there. That's not really something I wanted to do with this, um, this game though. This isn't a plague, thankfully, nor is it a primal curse. It's, oh no, blood magic and powerful blood magic at that. It would take a large group of arcanists to achieve this effect. Or possibly an artifact. Hmm. Oh, I said something. Tell me a tale. What kind of artifact? Ah, of course. Good question. I've seen similar effects before, but Dementalists were always involved. Yes, they're powerful enough to cause this. I'll tell you this though, whoever would deploy such a device must have an agenda and be ruthless enough to pay any price for success. By Oregon's light, what a mess. Was I hard to find? And we love up, okay. That's good. We will worry about that stuff in a second. One mustn't touch Dementalists. It can be avoided. It takes considerable magical power to destroy them, and the risk of madness is high. On the other hand, I know someone who can help. Jelena. She's one of the Valkyon Rangers, and, it's quite a, and is quite adept with the explosives. I know she's in the region. I'll share what I know. Um, track her down, Perijer. She's a, a blast to work with. Ha. Huh. Got what you said, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our new skills and glyphs. This is the one I was waiting for, Meteor Strike. That's going to be an awesome skill to have. Uh, but yeah, I did. I went through and I actually recorded so much that it got me through to actually, I think this year. If I'm being like, I think it did. I'm not really sure. I know I had my computer problems um, back in January, but man it got me through um but i ended up having too much because i i sat down and i recorded so much i literally finished the entire mystery dungeon series and i finished the um after game of this the series and i was so proud of that and i'd worked so hard on it so it was kind of really heartbreaking to find out that i couldn't use it and i would have to go back and replay everything um which is why i don't want to talk about those right now Looking for me. but Jelena is here. <laughs> I keep getting interrupted, Jelena. Quietly, their friend. Never know who might be listening in. Looking for me? Of course I am. You want to destroy a Dementalith? Yeah, it can be done. But it might not be that simple. If I was plotting this out, I'd have guards or some other protection for a relic that powerful. I'll give you the charge, but you'd best be ready for a fight. Girl, I got this. So I recorded all that stuff, and I got it... Um, but then I had a little bit too much because I spent so much time where I didn't have to record. Like, there was probably a good six months or so where I didn't record anything. And I got out of my schedule and I got to the point of where I actually didn't want to record. I was like, okay, I don't have to record for, like, a long time. So, why on earth would I want to record now? Like, I got plenty here. I don't need to record. So I pretty much spent all my time doing nothing really. I mean, I didn't have to. I had everything edited and I had everything ready to go and I was 
kind of way too far ahead than I wanted to be. And that's not something I wanted to do with this series because um, it goes off of like events and stuff and I can't really talk about it if you're not going to hear about it till like the next month and it's already over. It wouldn't do Why? any good. Still standing, eh? Guess there's something to the stories about you after all. Never mind. What happened? Vampires? Let me see that fragment. Odd. Why would the vampires be involved? They lived in the kingdom for centuries. At the same time, Leander once told me vampires have ties to blood magic. Enough speculation. Get that sample to Bedroom, and it gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Thanks for your help. Yeah, so I had tons of stuff recorded. Didn't really have to worry about um, recording for a while. And I got out of my groove. And I didn't want to do that with this series. Because, like, when I was recording those, I was talking about Sun and Moon. Um, and I was talking about Sun and Moon because it hadn't come out yet. And saying things that people probably are watching the video and they're like, um... The game's been out for like two months now and I've already completed the game so I already know all this and you're acting like you don't have the game. Which was really weird because I, I had the game right when it released. Um, so it didn't do me any good really to talk about that because if I already um, talked to, it had already happened it would be like Tell old news and wouldn't be even something to talk about. Let me examine this more closely. There are symbols inscribed on it and it makes no sense. Why would Luke's sigil be on the fragment? He's dead and largely forgotten. Have you ever heard of the Scions of Luke? A cult dedicated to him? That's bizarre, but it might explain a few details. Cults thrive in sp splintered societies, drawing strength from the d disaffected. This chaos could be the start of something much larger. Take this news to Perfect Paka, my friend. Hurry. Okay, so we need to go to Perfect Paka. Um, We'll do that here as well, but I need to get- I'm gonna go ahead and use these as well. Get us a couple of earrings. Why not? Definitely better than what we have now. Um, yeah, it's just- it was like- it's like I can't do that for this series because like right now what's going on is if you- um, well, it's not even worth talking about because I'm actually too far ahead on this series. See, it's just- it's- like lose lose situation because if I record a lot then um if I record a lot then I'm just going to have too much stuff and I can't talk about anything and the whole series will kind of just sound like this yeah complete silence because I won't have anything to talk about like right now um we're talking about the new classes coming out if I would have recorded this probably Oh, I don't know. If I would have recorded like 10 or so episodes, then the class would already be out and I'm just talking about it. Like, it's it's just being talked about right now. And the class comes out in, in April, which is next month. So, if I have enough videos to last till May, then what the heck do I need- Why do I need to talk about that class? It just didn't make sense. A Dementalith. Blood magic. Occult. Nature hates me. Why would the vampires be working with a cult? They're happy here. We all are. It doesn't make sense. But where are my manners? I've forgotten that important thing. What's that? To thank you. And better am, obviously. You've saved my town. My town? Oh my gosh. You saved my town from death or worse. We can't thank you enough. I fear that's literally true. With all these troubles, we borrowed heavily to keep the district running. But tell Baruch how grateful I am. I'm sure he'll reward you. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's up here. It just, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. So I kind of don't want to record this series, like, bulk, if I'm going to talk about stuff that's not happened yet, because it wouldn't really make sense. But then again, I still want to stay on my schedule. So, you, you know. Don't stare. I can't help being handsome and powerful. Yeah, okay. You did your job, nothing more. Don't expect a parade in Velika anytime soon. Still, I'm authorized to give you a small reward. Take this and await further orders. If General Samuel decides to employ you again, that is. I'm yeah, well, I'm just doing you. my job, buddy. Uh, that pack of fellow has been looking for you. Odd company you keep, Perrigan. What? We just talked to Packer. What does he want now? Need help with something else, buddy? I guess he needs more help. Prefect. Prefect. Prefect Packer. Perigen, thank you for coming. 
We and the vampires were friends once before this madness, but now they've threatened to my town. If you were to, if you went to Vale of the Fang and reduced the, root, the numbers a bit, people would feel safer. And this time, I'll reward you personally. That Bruce proved himself a total, yeah, he's a total butt. Okay, I'll look for another way. Uh, but I sent a, sent another on your clothes. Who was that, who, who has helped you before? Us before. One who is on the run? If she believes that there's another way, I'll trust her. Never fear, I won't betray her. We owe her a great deal. Okay, well, we'll find the answers, buddy. I guess he's talking about Jelena, because we have to go find Jelena. And, yeah, it was just really weird for me to be getting back on a schedule, because I wanted to have videos for Tuesdays and Fridays, which would mean I record twice a week. But I want to have videos for in case I can't record. Which usually is what happens. That's why I just chose whenever I could to sit down and record. So if I didn't have time to record something, then I would have a video and it would be covered and I wouldn't have to worry about nothing going up on the channel. So it was kind of a lose-lose situation, you know. I can record for this amount of time and cut it off short because I don't have enough time. Or I can just record at the allotted time every single day and bulk record. But then I can't talk about anything that's happening because, I mean, really, who wants to hear old Coming news? Doing as good as, doing a good deed may accompany some hardship. Keep up the good work. Well met, Pedrin. In case we both like making trouble. Yeah, well, we're doing the exact same thing, so we're kind of like sisters, girl. I was right about the vampires. They're being used. The nobles sold their people out to the cult. Bad news. There's one cult in particular, Serdek. Always taking notes. We've got to take a look at them. I need an idea of how much blood magic they've learned and how they're going to use it. Think you can take them? Take him? Good. Do it. I'm going to scout away into the sinistral manor. A lot of vampires are going in and out of there. Okay. I, I mean, I, I don't understand this logic sometimes in this game. It's really weird. <laughs> I need to find and kill Serdek. So, you know, instead of going up to Serdek and saying, hey, um, can we talk? Can I borrow your notes? No, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to be like, uh, hey, can I kill you and take your notes from you? Would that work for you? I mean, that should be working for you, right? I'll just take your notes from you. And there are the last of our relic pieces. We got a little bit extra, but that's okay. This should definitely increase our, um, power a lot more now that we have our avatar weapon. We'll work on that in a little bit, but I don't understand. Like, you could just go over there and talk to them, but instead we have to kill everyone. That's our job. I don't know. Hi there. Let's see his notes. This is Sinistral Manor here, and the device he describes could turn out hundreds of Dementalists. Blast it! With this, they could wreak havoc all over Proporia or beyond. Okay, I found a way in, but it's a secret door slave to the Royal Blood. Lucky for us, there's a little available. Find the Countess's coffin and the Count's coffin. They can detonate. They can detonate. Dido, dio, donate? Donate. Yes, those are words. They can donate to the cause. I'll meet you at Sinistral Manor. Bring plenty of blood. Again, like, we have to kill the Countess and the Count. Get their blood. Just so we have blood for her? Like, I don't know what she needs the blood for. It really doesn't make sense. I hope you're not going to be a menace here, Lutitia. How about you just uh, stay over there doing your thing, Lutia? Thank you. Don't mess with me. Oh gosh. Can you die, please? I really need to get that avatar weapon. I'm not doing a lot of damage at all. Oh my gosh, just getting hit. I'm sorry. Thank you for the heal. Oh, you you healed me. Oh my gosh. Actually, you didn't heal me. It didn't work. I'm all poisoned. Good thing I got some uh, healing elixirs here to help me out. Okay, so let's go get the count real quick.
because we're actually getting ready to go towards the um, uh, the new place, which will be the dungeon, which we're not going to get a chance to do today, but it'll give me a lot some time to get queued up for it next time. So let's go ahead and actually heal up a little bit more because we don't want to take too much damage. Oh, and I did not mean to do that. You hear the sound of a bell as you try to open the Count's coffin. Okay, I'm ready this time. A meteor strike! That should be good damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the Count was a little bit easier than the Countess. Alright, we need to go meet up with Jolena now, so let's get on our horse and go meet up with her at Sinistral Manor. And then we will end off the episode and I will probably go back and do some mining and some gathering of those plants as well as some essence gathering um, off screen to get that up a little bit more. And I think that's about it. I might do it and I might not. I think once we finish this dungeon we should be actually done um, with this area. So might actually just not worry about it and wait till we get to the next area. Um, ugh, I hate going through all these guys because they scare the crap out of me when they hit me from behind and I always go the wrong way so I'm trying to figure out the right way and I missed it again. I always miss the turn. I'm, I'm planning on these guys throwing something at me and hopefully they won't scare me but it happens every time you run past them and they throw something at you. I don't like it. it. Scares me. It makes me jump because I'm not expecting it. You don't. You don't expect it at all. It just happens. <laughs> well, there she is. There's Jelena. So let's go talk to her real quick. There. Now we're getting somewhere. You bleed these blue bloods. You, you bleed these. Oh, you bled those blue bloods. Man, I cannot talk today. Cannot speak, cannot read. Well done. I've got some bombs and protection from that sanguine magic. First to fight, first to drink. Let's go. And we leveled up. And we got some new robes. Okay, so I will probably queue up for the dungeon um, off screen. First things first though, we're going to use our last safe haven teleports grow. And we're going to go back to Popoleon. Um, because we need to go to Popoleon. Um, so we get rest of the XP, but we have a few things we need to do before we wrap up, wrap up the episode, of course. So let's get it going. We need to go over to the area with the trade broker and get our gold that we have gotten. We sold something on the brokerage, so let's get this gold here. We got 69 gold now, so or 60 gold out of that. So maybe now we can put these on the broker. So let's see. Yes, we can. We can put that on there. Can we put this on here? Might not be able to put that on there. Oh, we can. Okay, good. So maybe those will sell. Hopefully they will. Um, but let's go ahead and actually get our weapon. And can we do it? Yes, level 26. So let's acquire our new weapon. And we will enchant it. Get it to plus 9. Uh, we also got some new gear as well. We got this thing here, which I'm not going to use because we obviously will have a better avatar weapon. And then we have some gear that's not better than what we already have. So we'll just keep the gear that we have on. Well, we don't need that. And only plus seven. No, we can keep going. We have more. We can use our tier three. We ran out of tier one alcahest, but we have tier three. And there we go, there's our plus nine, and we will go ahead and actually take off the crystals on this one. And I will put, um, let's see, this on, and this new crystal, as well as these old ones. We hopefully will get some from the manor, but uh, we, these are our new crystals, so we don't actually need, actually, there we go. I thought we had four crystal slots. We have four crystal slots now. Um, our gear is not high enough, so we're going to leave them where they're at. Um, but we can sell all this other stuff here and dismantle it. Uh, we don't need this one. It's way bad. And then we don't need this one over here. It's not good either. And then the one that Jelena gave us, we don't need either. 
And we don't need these boxes. So let's pull them over here. Get rid of those. And let's go sell the stuff that we need to sell and then we should be done. Okay, we don't need these anymore. Don't need this. And Jolina's thing, I guess she gave us this. So we'll put this up here for now. Um, and we don't need... We don't need these anymore, technically. As long as we don't die, we should be okay. So I'll get rid of those, and I'll keep the rest. Let's see our new avatar weapon here. Let's check it out. That's pretty cool looking. Definitely a lot different than our other one. I like that one. So that's going to probably do it for this episode, guys. Um, next episode, we're probably going to start out, we're going to do the dungeon. Um, so it says there, you have to join Jelena in Sinistro Manor. Only normal mode would advance the quest. Sinistro Manor is a five-person dungeon, and we have to use the Vanguard request or instance matching to find a party, which is this thing down here. I can queue up for the dungeon. Um, I can push find group, and I can queue up. But with that, you have to wait a long amount of time, or I can try to find a group over near the Sinistro Manor entrance. So either way, I will be looking around for a group, and we will be going through the dungeon in the next episode. But for now, we're going to end it off here. And I'm going to hope and pray that this all recorded, but I mean, sure. Okay, so it has to have recorded. <laughs> but we're going to end it here. I will see you guys next time.